Well, we'll need to probably do some lab work for you today and um, do an exam. I love being a nurse, but I wanted to take my career and education to that next level. In my experience, it's been a great career move. It's been, it's opened up a lot of possibilities professionally. People are going to get sick no matter what. They're going to need medical care, even if it's a thousand years from now. There is a need in the rural communities. It's very great. What will give me the best opportunity to, to help others and to improve their lives? Mm -hmm. And this, for me, is it. Having my DMP opens a lot of doors for me and, and the fact that I can work in the clinical setting, I can work in a hospital setting. Um, I've also considered working in the university setting as well, uh, helping others to advance their education and I really think that the opportunities are almost endless for what I can do with my degree. We are being the primary providers and being involved in a DMP program allows you to have that extra education just to be that leader that the healthcare field needs right now with the added responsibility in the nurse practitioner role. It gives you more clinical hours, which I think is extremely beneficial when you are going out into practice. Um, I know research has shown that people with advanced education have better patient outcomes. That's one of the reasons that I really was drawn to the DNP program was because I knew that the, having that extra level of education was really going to give me that edge when I was practicing in, out in the real world and in my career. National trends now are gearing up towards making the masters into a doctoral requirement for nurse practitioners so that, that really was one of the key factors in choosing a doctoral nursing practice program. The ultimate decision came down to the fact that NDSU had the terminal DNP degree and we had the availability to do clinical rotations in my rural site and uh, it turned out to be a really good option for me because I ultimately got my job by doing those rotations and was actually offered a job as a student because of them. I guess the main reason that I picked NDSU was that, that they are the only DNP program in the state of North Dakota and I really appreciate the, it was a, very convenient for me to be able to have the college here in Fargo and it allowed me to work while I was going to school, which was very important to me. I wanted to remain working as a nurse while I was going to school and um, the way that the program was set up was very uh, flexible and, and made it possible to continue to work as a nurse during the time that I was in school. For practicum, you can request uh, specialties that you want to go to. You can go to in-hospital. Some girl re uh, request to go to surgery. We do dermatology specialty, neurology, women's health. So there's, uh, that they let you do what you think is best. I think the opportunities are endless, especially when you have that family practice background. It doesn't limit you to uh, adults or pediatrics or geriatrics. You can do any of the above. Um, and it's not just a family practice program. You know, once you have that degree, you can specialize in basically any specialty you'd like. You know, I think the professional opportunities for nurse practitioners are just limitless. I think. Uh, there's a shortage in, in faculty for nursing programs, there's a shortage in primary care providers, and really uh, getting into to specialties is uh, also difficult if anyone has uh, ever tried to see a dermatologist or uh, a different specialist. It's not easy access to those providers either. And so, um, you know, the more nurse practitioners that we can train uh, to be skilled in those areas will really open up the healthcare market. With the family nurse practitioner a certification, you can go into so many different areas. So if you prefer to work with women or with children or with geriatrics or with middle age or adolescents, you can do all of that or go into your specific area of interest with the FNP certification. The profession is growing exponentially very, very quickly and thus I think that the outlook for prospective jobs will continue to increase uh, ensuring success in the future. I read some statistics just recently that the number of, of nurse practitioners will double you know, over the next few years. So it may be that having the additional degree will help you get uh, a position that you desire. I teach pediatric nursing at Minot State. This past year there were openings in at least five universities just within the state and also Montana and South Dakota have openings. It, it's just there's not enough fa faculty to keep up with the 
programs that there are. The one other reason of going back to school is I'm from the third world country and we know how much healthcare providers are needed there. So going back to my country is the ultimate goal. Eventually, I need the, all the experience that I can get so that I can, when I'm there, I know what I'm doing and I know how to set things up. Our population is uh, aging and uh, healthcare is, is going to be one of the, the primary drivers of the economy in the future. And uh, I, I don't ever see a loss of jobs. For my DMP degree, my nurse practitioner, I'm working at Ann Carlson Center which is a center for the mentally and physically challenged and medically fragile. And I get to observe their physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, and it's just been a very rewarding role. I see clinic patients every day. A nursing model promotes a healthy lifestyle and wellness. And I consider that to be my main object in, in treating people. But then, of course, we treat diseases as they come in. Just a wide variety of things that I do each day. So and I think that's what keeps me coming back. It's never dull. Orthopedics really pulled me in because I like the ability to be in the operating room and do some hands-on uh, type of skills. I'm in the clinic two to three days a week, and I do I work in our walk-in clinic and evaluate new uh, injuries. Um, but I also work in the operating room and I do rounds in our uh, two different hospitals. So my day varies uh, quite a bit depending on where I'm at and what I'm doing. So far, my rotation that I liked most was neurology. I'm planning to do psych mental, which I think I will love to do uh, in the fall, so that I'm waiting, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm very excited to be working with uh, nurses who are becoming nurse practitioners. Uh, I think it's an amazing uh, field to be working in. There's just extraordinary growth pot potential and um, you know I'm really excited about uh, helping other nurses realize their dreams of being nurse practitioners. I love working in a rural area. Uh, my first job as a registered nurse was in North Dakota in a small hospital. Um, the cool thing in the rural area is that you get to do everything. You get to use uh, the entire textbook, as I like to say. So you don't just do like one thing over and over again, but you get to do lots of things. You get to grow and stretch, and your uh, career doesn't become static or stagnant. You have to keep, keep growing. Being in a rural area, I think it's more similar to where I come from. And you just have to apply your skills kind of to the full potential because you don't have somebody you're looking at, I'll refer them to somebody else or, or I'll just do a little bit and then somebody else will do the rest of the stuff. You have to do the whole thing by yourself and that just gives you the opportunity to use your skills to the maximum. So I have a passion for rural North Dakota and I love the variety that those hospitals and clinics have to offer so I potentially probably see myself in a rural clinic somewhere working with the farmers and ranchers of rural North Dakota. I see that being a practitioner in a rural area as well that they're respected professionals and I look forward to taking care of people that I know and care about. I love working in the rural community because you not only get to know the people in the clinic but you also know a lot of them outside of the clinic. I enjoy seeing the families from generation to generation and I do have families where I see three to four generations and you get to know them well, you get to know their history well and really can provide more holistic care. A lot of my uh, doctoral work with my dissertation in school focused on rural communities and rural individuals and how they like to uh, establish a sense of identity and a relationship with their providers and in a rural setting you have that opportunity because you see them both inside the clinic and out. You're also more well known within a smaller community and so people will approach you whether at church, school, any community function and ask you questions about their health and you have the opportunity to help them both inside and outside of the clinic more readily. You get to know them as a whole instead of them coming into the clinic and telling you one simple, one single problem and that's all you know, that's all you see. Whereas in a small town or small community you really get to know your clients a lot better. You do feel like you have more time also to meet with your patients and, and, to, and to talk with them and to get to know them instead of having to be rushed at all times and trying to see as many as you can because you have a waiting room full of people. The nurse practitioners are a really cost-effective, uh, highly trained and highly skilled option for uh, clinics and rural healthcare providers and so more and more um, clinics are going to uh, 
nurse practitioners as a great option for providing primary care and good quality care for their uh, patients in rural areas. I work in a small community and live in an even smaller community, so having a program online is really important because I wouldn't be able to have access to a program otherwise. Um, I'm four hours away, so that really is a key factor in the program for myself. I like the fact that I was able to do it from where I was. I wasn't uh, near Fargo, and so it, it, uh, my family didn't have to uproot. I was close enough to Fargo that I could certainly drive there. Um, but um, it, it put the doctoral studies into my hands where they might not have been as accessible otherwise. The advantage of the online program is that it does give you the opportunity to work to some degree. I did have a family with three children at the time of going to school and I was still able to be very successful because of the flexibility allowed by the online courses. But I had gotten my master's completely online and for me it was just easier. I could work around my own schedule so I could still work full time and all of that. Whereas when it's a course where you have to take in the classroom, I had to cut down to part time. I told them with my heavy schedule here there was no way I could attend classes. But I was the first one to do it entirely online. And that was the only way I could have completed it. And so, yes, online is, is just an expedient way to get people into that program and let them complete it. It's a great way to get um, that training while you are living away from an urban area. And this is uh, an excellent way for people who are in a more rural uh, setting to get their higher education while continuing to uh, be able to live their lives, I guess. You know they say in the future that we're going to go to where people are going to do their homework in their pajamas at late at night and early in the morning. I think that's a little bit true that when you're on an online class that you are free to work on it whenever you can. It also makes it easier to ha have a job and take classes. The faculty at NDSU are well experienced, very knowledgeable, and they really seem to care a lot about the success of their students. I think the faculty here is fabulous. I've had some awesome experiences with my professors. They're very open, they're easy to communicate with, whether it's email or in person, and I think that it, they've been great support system. I know I've been through two years of school now and I couldn't have done it without them. My advisor for my dissertation has been fantastic. She is my go-to person for any problem that I might have with it, and she's just been an awesome resource for me, whether it's through my dissertation or through other things that I have going on with school or life, and she has been fantastic. That was one of my favorite parts of NDSU, is there's a small number of faculty members that work really closely with the, with the classes, and uh, you really get to know them and feel comfortable um, asking and learning in that environment. Uh, when things weren't going well, which happens in, in doctoral uh, work sometimes, uh, they were able to help me uh, uh, keep moving forward. The professors here, they are available and they answer questions almost every time you ask them and they, very, they are very accommodating. Like they, uh, if you have commitments, they always do something different to make sure you get the material that you missed and they are always there to help. NDSU, I think, provided me with an education that was top-notch, phenomenal. I could not have received a better education anywhere else. There are lots of DMP programs out there, but I think that the NDSU program uh, is really strong in its flexibility and, let, and allowing you to follow some of your own goals. I feel like the success that I've had in the last couple of years professionally, I, a lot of that I feel like I can trace back to what I, the tools and the things that I got from NDSU. So I'm very thankful about that. and I recommend the program to everybody I meet who's considering a DMP program.